Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi brothers and sisters. Sorry again for the, I missed the, the class yesterday. And subhanAllah, I, I don't want to miss it again. So I decided just let's do it today. So I'll be here for an hour, inshallah. Please log in as soon as you can so that you can do your reading, inshallah.
الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله ومن والاه. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. اللهم لك الحمد كما Okay, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So, as I mentioned, inshallah, we're going to continue our Mahar Club reading session. I know it's Ramadan. Uh, maybe in the UK, it's, I think, 8 o'clock, which is already morning time. Anyway, uh, this is the time, inshallah, I think, Yani is available. Because if I'm gonna, I was afraid I'm gonna delay again and forget. I didn't put that, put that in the calendar for yesterday. I got overwhelmed with many events from the morning to the evening. So, sorry again, I actually thought I forget that. Anyway, inshallah, you can do your reading now. Uh, I'm very tired to speak because we had also the Sunday school and I had some counseling also for some brothers or for a brother who also had a lot of questions or some questions. That I had to to answer or to serve. So, if you guys are not gonna join, then I'm gonna end the session, inshallah. Or since it's Ramadan, many brothers they keep asking that they cannot join the Bahai Club for in their country. So I'll send you the link, guys, to, inshallah, be able to join. I'll take only five people, inshallah, five people from outside of the, of the Mahir Club. Take five people, inshallah, and you just click on the link. Bismillah. Just click on the link. Inshallah, we'll be able to serve you. Just one second, I should think. يا رب بسم الله وعليكم السلام وبركاته Okay, I won't be able to see the any comments on YouTube. I won't be able to see any comments on YouTube or questions. So you can just use the link I put. Use the link I put and uh, you can read, inshallah, three minutes. If you're a Maher Club member, you can read 10 minutes, inshallah, uh, five minutes, inshallah, five minutes, five, I said five, 10 by mistake, five minutes. I have so much to do. But this is you know, a commitment that I made upon myself to, inshallah, make myself available to people in many countries who would like to read get an opinion about their reading and get advice on how to improve. Uh, 
So Maher Club members have five minutes. If you're not a Maher Club member, here's the link. You can click, inshallah, and read three minutes. And alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, yani, with this technology, we can connect people from different countries. SubhanAllah, they can connect. You can get advice and benefits. I was going to bring some, there's a new masjid opening. So for the old masjid, someone who's irresponsible, I don't know who that one is, but someone who's irresponsible, someone who doesn't know that the, the rulings of Sharia, the rulings of Islam, we just told them, throw everything away. I want everything away, throw everything outside. And there are so many things that are valuable, that are that have a value. SubhanAllah. <laughs> and this is masjid money. The, this is community money. I don't know. I hope someone would send this message to those brothers in that masjid. But this is masjid money, brothers. These are donations. Okay? These are donations. It's not your own property that you want to get rid of everything and throw everything because you don't have time to Set and take the, the, the good things, right? And I know, I know very well, and I saw with my own eyes those things. Some things like you, they're new, they have values. Allah, the, the scholars they talk in fiqh that you shouldn't clean yourself with something that has a value. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, you shouldn't clean yourself like with, let's say, some cotton. Uh, fabric or pieces of cloths or cloths cotton cloths because they have value you should clean yourself right after you relieve yourself with something that doesn't have a value imagine we have things that are very valuable and we're throwing them away yalla we're moving to a new masjid mashallah we're gonna buy, buy everything new Everything brand new. You don't want anything from the old masjid. Prayer rugs, small prayer rugs, they can be washed and they can be used in different ways. They can be given to people. These things have value, but subhanAllah, now we have a new masjid. We don't want anything. We want to throw everything away. Okay, we understand if something broken, something not working. Okay, but things are working and in good condition. Some of them will like new stuff here. I have it here. New stuff, new Quran table. Oh, well, throw everything. We don't want. Good that some, some uh, mature brothers, mashallah, they contact me. They said there's some stuff you might need. So I came right away, even though I'm subhanAllah, exhausted. I just want to go home. But I went and I, I picked them. So May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us learn. Learn our religion. Learn uh, not to waste the blessings that Allah has given us. Anyway, so that was a uh, stupid out. And inshallah to benefit. But if you if you're in charge, you have to be uh, to fulfill the responsibility. You have to fulfill that responsibility. When it comes to masjid issues, uh, Islamic centers, you are entrusted with these with these uh, things. I I fear to throw like a screw, a screw a nail. I I fear to throw it away. It's for the masjid or for the Islamic center. Because this, these things are all like waqf. Waqf, even the khalifa himself cannot take it. The khalifa himself, if there's a khalifa, when the Muslims are united and there's one Muslim state and there's a khalifa or a president, 
he is not allowed to to take the waqf or control the waqf. So it's like endowment exclusive for the benefit and the interest of the masjid. For the benefit of the masjid. Even if there's a stuff that is not good, the stuff that's not working, and you can sell it, you have to sell it. See? But when people who don't have the, the knowledge are put in charge, you will see wonders. They mention about one of the, of the judges of Islam. He has two pens. He has two pens. He said, what? Why do you have these two pens? He said, one for the work for the judgments that come to me, and one if I want to write something personal. One, if I want to write something personal, I don't use the pen of the of the court. See? You can read that? Yes. Yes. These are the, the, the Muslims who have knowledge and who have fear of Allah Ta'ala. Yeah, I need the minimum if you cannot if you cannot deal with them. Okay, you don't want them. Okay, ask other masajid, ask other masajid, Islamic centers, see what they need. And then the rest you should like this is Nama. Anything that is working in good condition, okay. She will throw away. You can sell it and give it to someone. And this is how now we complain about the environment and about global warming. And we're throwing all of these things that have value. And just people just misusing the resources that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put, put on this, on this uh, land, on this earth, right? Throwing many things that are new, new, some shade, some stuff. We learned from our, uh, our shaykh, it's a hadith, ma ala man iqtasar. And the one who thinks about his affairs, thinks about his, uh, try to be economical, right? Economical. He will not reach poverty, right? And this, uh, you know, people make courses. We have one of our shifts in Sira, we reward him and bless him more and more. He has he made a course on, on uh, how to, to be economic or economical in your house. The home economy, if you like, or home uh, being economical and being careful in, on your spending in the in the house. For example, some people I'll give you a little example. Some people uh, they buy stuff, right? They go shopping and they buy stuff, and you and they throw these bags, these shopping bags. They throw them away. If you have like trash cans in your restroom, okay, you can use those, those trash cans are small, so you can use those shopping bags better than buying, buying trash bags for those small trash cans, right? This is a little thing, but it shows that you were careful about, about the resources that Allah gave you, right? And you were mindful of these things. Yeah, it's okay. I can get like 20 bags, small bags for a dollar. Yeah, okay, that dollar, there are people, they wish they get a dollar a day, they wish, right? There are people that are starving. You can save this dollar, donate it if you don't need it, <laughs> right? Same thing, a lot of things like uh, something broke, sometimes just with a uh, little tape, you can fix it and it works good, it works well. Right? No, but some people they just throw away. 
throw, throw, throw away, throw away, throw away, anything, just throw it away. Uh, they don't care. Maybe some one time will come upon you where you wish you don't do that, right? You wish you didn't do that. See now here in the, one good thing in I have seen here in America, for example, every house has two two bins, right? Two pins or bins, two bins with a B, like boy, two bins, right? One for trash, one for recyclable stuff, right? We never have this in back home in our countries, in Syria, in, in Jordan, in Lebanon, etc. Very, maybe very rare places. So this shows there, they value the, the blessings that Allah gave us, the resources, the things that Allah gave us, right? This plastic, they recycle it, the paper, the stuff, they all, this is now big industry, I think, right? They don't throw away. And uh, this is how we should also do. In our school, we have a box for recyclable stuff, box for cardboard, for paper, for, that's what we have to do, right? They also collect the oil, the, 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 the used oil, the cooking oil, right? I remember, subhanAllah, in, uh, we had in Syria, when we studied Dawa course in, in, in English, we had two American teachers and one British teacher. May Allah reward them. Uh, they, I remember there was like an initiative. They, they mentioned something. So we, I remember one of the sisters, she started collecting the cooking oil, the used cooking oil. And she would give them to someone who makes soap, who makes soap from the oil cooking oil, the used cooking oil. That That is smart. That is very good. So alhamdulillah, yani, there are some people who are, yani, mashallah, uh, aware of these things. Here, they tell you, back home in our country, they don't care. They throw everything, throw everything, throw away, everything, throw away. So here they advise you, never throw away the oil, right, in the, in the sink, in the sink. So, sewer lines uh, collect the cooking oil and then you they come and they pick it up from your curbside they pick it up and they mention some statistics how much they benefit the cities and the municipalities how much they benefit from these used oils and they make uh, a lot of uh, liquids and stuff that is that is beneficial and they they make a lot of money yeah, they save a lot of money from that uh, on the other hand, if you throw it away in the in the sewer, in the sink, uh, it will be the reason for much more clogs and clogging. And then you will have, you might have to pay thousands. In my old house, I paid about $3,000 just to fix the, there was a broken sewer line in the front yard. And we found that the, the, the water is flooded inside the restroom. So... What we had to do, we didn't know why, right? So we found that uh, the, the, the sewer line is broken, broken for some time in the front yard, imagine, because it has been for tens of years and it's rusted and broken. So it costs a lot to change sewer lines and stuff. So all this from Islam, all this, these teachings to be, to be careful, to be, uh, Considerate, that's the word. Considerate of, to be considerate of the resources Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you. To be grateful, to use them in the right way, not to throw, not to, to be wasteful, right? Innahu la yuhibbul musrifin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, He doesn't like those that are extravagant and wasteful. Extravagant. And we have, so we have Israf and we have Tabdir. Tabdir is doing haram stuff. Those who are extravagant and doing haram and in haram stuff, they are the siblings of the devils. So all this, all this we learned from our shapes, may Allah reward heard the story from our sheikh that uh, 
guys, this is not a class about economic, how to be economical at home and how to not to be wasteful. This is the Quran reading class. I put the link for you there to join if you want to read some Quran. I'm going to end it, inshallah, in five minutes because it seems people are either exhausted, they're fasting, they don't want to read, or they're breaking their fast. Anyway, may Allah accept. Please give me in your dua. But I'm going to end in five minutes, inshallah. Uh, uh, so our chef told, yeah, told us a story about someone who's very, very rich. Very rich. They asked him how he became rich. He said, I came to an interview. I was looking for a job. I entered. Uh, I went inside. So the, the, the person who was making the interviews, he talked to me. Since he didn't like my resume, and he said, "Sorry, we cannot hire." And when I, when he was leaving the office, he saw a pin, pin, a little pin, on the floor. So he was leaving, so he picked it up, and he went back to the desk of the employer and put it on his desk, a little pin. And he said, I found this. And he wanted to return to the door and leave the office. So the employer called him. He said, come, come. What, what, why you did that? What are you doing? You came back for a pin, a little pin. He said, yes. He said, why? Why you do that? He said, this is, this is something beneficial. Shouldn't waste it. So he said, You know, come. He had a conversation with him and he hired him. He said, You're someone who, who will bring good to our company. And he hired him. And in reality, he helped him save so much to his company. So aware of these things guys inshallah they will they'll benefit you yalla bismillah sayyid or sayyida i didn't see the name right bismillah where are you reading from can you hear me sayyid or sayyida allah Assalamu alaikum, uh, Sheikh. My son Salam. is coming. Yeah, my son is coming. Yalla, bismillah, bismillah. Is he a Maher, Maher Club member? Yes, yes. Yalla, bismillah. Let's read. Okay. He's coming. He's just doing Udu. Yalla, bismillah. And you, sister, you, you, uh, how is you reading? I, I also uh, read Quran. Yalla, read Al Fatiha. Read Al Fatiha if you like. But uh, it's gonna be on the YouTube, right? Yeah. If you don't want, if you don't want, if you don't want, yeah, yeah. You you don't have to do it. If you don't like, you don't have to do it. Yeah, it's on YouTube because I want the Maher Club members to wake up and see that class is there. So yeah. I can wait for your son if you don't like your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inshallah, inshallah, he's here. Yalla, what's your name, brother? Bismillah. What's your name? He left. And instead of clicking something, he clicked something else. Okay. And you guys be careful about these devices. This is another advice. Maybe these should be separate videos for these things. Sometimes with one click, uh, with one click, right? With one click sometimes, especially sisters, huh? Especially sisters. Let me take one minute uh, to talk about this. Now there's there's a type of obsession, right? There's a type of obsession with Subhanallah. A type of obsession with. Uh, taking videos and pictures. Obsession with taking videos and pictures. They carry the whole house. They're gonna put the whole house in place. There's obsession with 
pictures and videos. People, especially young boys and girls, and some old, some old uh, boys and girls, they're obsessed with just taking pictures of everything, taking pictures of themselves, and especially sisters, they take pictures without hijab, they share with one another, with their friends, and then suddenly you will, you might see your pictures became on Facebook, they came online, and sometimes without hijab. You have to be very careful. Someone might take your phone, your, you might lose your phone, you might uh, by mistake send, and we maybe it happened with many of you, right? You received a message by mistake. Right, so sometimes with one click, a picture is sent to someone that you don't want to send to. Right, so avoid that, especially sisters. I'm talking to sisters. Don't take pictures without hijab. Don't do videos without hijab, because in one click, sometimes your children or your siblings or whoever they might just with two buttons, two clicks, your picture is online. And once it's online. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can stop it. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take it away. And now we heard a lot of uh, those actresses who did obscene things and videos. They, 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 they cry. They cry after they repented. They cry that these videos and pictures are taken away from the internet. But that's impossible. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do that. So be careful, brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, protect all of us. Be careful and don't take pictures and videos without hijab, okay? If you want to keep for your, your own family members, keep them in something that, that doesn't have online connection, that doesn't connect online, that you don't uh, connect it online. That's my advice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What's your name? Ihan. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalamu alaikum. Yalla, bismillah, go ahead. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Yalla, start. I'm okay. sorry, I cannot share the screen. Go ahead. Yalla, what surah are you reading? Surah al-Qiyamah. يلا بسم الله go ahead لا أقسم بيوم القيامة ولا أقسم بالنفس اللوامة أيحسب الإنسان ألا نجمع عظامة بلا قادر على أن نسوي بنانة بل يريد الإنسان ليفجر أمامه يسأل أيان يوم القيامة فإذا ب... فإذا برق فإذا البصر وخسف القمر وجمع الشمس والقمر يقول الإنسان يومئذ أين المثر كلا وزر أين المثر like this أين المثر عين أين المثر أها كلا لا وزر إلى ربك يومئذ المستقر ينبأ الإنسان يومئذ بما قدم وأخر بل الإنسان على نفسه بصيرة ولو ألقى معاذيرة ولو ألقى معاذيرة إحان yes. Can you hear me? Listen, yeah. can you hear me? I was calling yeah. you all the time. Go back, go back. Ila uh, Rabbika. Go back the word Ila Rabbika Yawma Eid. Ila Rabbika Yawma Eid Il Mustaqar. Okay, pay attention here. Pay attention here. Look what's what's on the dal. Shu Adkhal. What's on the dal? Dal. 
uh, um, Tanwin. What does the Dal have? What does the Dal have? Huh? Uh, Oh. Oh. What, what is on the dal? Tell me, answer me. What's on the dal? What's on the dal? Tanwin. Tanwin. Okay. The, you did not learn this rule, maybe. Okay, let's learn it now. Okay. If you have a tanwin, okay. Tanwin. Followed by Hamzat Wasl. Tanwin. Followed by Hamza Wassel. No, brother, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stay until 15 minutes. Um, um, he he has two minutes. You like to read after him? Two minutes after him, then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end the meeting. Uh, so you you have when you have what's your name? Rihan. 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 Habibi, listen. When you have Tanween, followed by Hamza Wassel, and you're connecting. You're going to drop Hamza al-Wassal, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to change the Tanween into Noon with a Kasra. What do you do? Ila the tanween. Answer, me, answer me, answer me. What do you do? You change the Tanween into Noon with a Kasra. What do you do? You change the Noon. Tanween. You change the, tan the Tanween into what? Into Kasra with noon. noon with a Kasra. Noon, noon with, with a Kasra. kasra. So it is a Ethin, right? Ethin. This is Tanween. Ethin. Thin. The second Haraka, you have two Kasrat, right? Yes. Right or no? Under the Dal, you have two Kasrat. The second Kasra, that is the Tanween. So that Tanween, you're going to change it into. A noon with a kasra. That tanween is noon with a sukun. A thin, you hear? Thin. So it's noon with sukun. The tanween is noon sakina in pronunciation. You make it with a kasra. E vi nil. And instead of e thin, you're going to say e vi ni. Ni. And you go to the lamb. So how do you read that ayah now? Ila rabbika. Ila rabbika yawma idhin il mustaqar. Good. Ila Rabbika Yawma Idinil Idinil Mustaqar. Yell. Okay. Read it. Yell. One more time. Ila Rabbika Yawma Idinil Mustaqar. Good. And here at the end of this word, we have Ra. Okay. We have Ra. Uh, ra with a Shadda. So what do you do? You're going to make Nabur. So. You're going to say, Ila Rabbika Yawma Idin Il Mustaqar. Qar. Like that. Okay. Ila Rabbika Yawma Idin Il Mustaqar. Mash, continue. Yunabba Ul Insanu Yawma Idin Bima Qaddama Wa Akhar. إن علينا جمعه وقرآنه إن علينا إن علينا جمعه وقرآنه فإذا قرأ أوكي بارك الله فيك ريحان يلا عبد الله عبد الله بسم الله عبد الله عبد الله حمدان Jahar, who's Jahar? What's your name? Hello. Yalla, Jahar, what's your name? Um, Mustafa. Mustafa, yalla, bismillah. Uh, any surah? Yalla, any surah you like. Rihan, uh, your time is up. Jazakallah khairan. Yalla, uh, Mustafa, go ahead. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سأل سائل بعذاب واقع للكافرين ليس له دافع من الله ذي المعارج تعرج الملائكة والروح إليه في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة فاصبر صبرا جميلا إنهم يرونه بعيدا ونراه قريبا يوم تكون السماء كالمر وتكون الجبال كالعهن ولا يسأل حميم حميما يبصرونهم يود المجرم لو يفتدي من عذاب يومئذ ببنيه وصاحبته وأخيه وفصيلته التي تقوي و... Again. وفصيلته التي وفا وفا say it again وفصيلته التي تؤويه ومن في الأرض جميعا ثم ينجيه كلا إنها لظى نزاعة للشوى تدعو من أدبر وتولى وجمع فأوعى إن الإنسان خلق هلوعا إذا مسه الشر جزوعا وإذا مسه الخير منوعا إلا المصلين الذين هم على صلاتهم دائمون والذين في أموالهم حق أم معلوم للسائل والمحروم والذين يصدقون بيوم الدين والذين هم من عذاب ربهم مشفقون إن عذاب ربهم غير مأمون والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون إلا على أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم فإنهم غير ملومين فمن ابتغى وراء ذلك فأولئك هم العادون والذين هم لأماناتهم وعهدهم راعون والذين هم بشهاداتهم قائمون والذين هم لصلاتهم يحافظون Did you say لصلاتهم? Yes If not لصلاتهم وال... والذين هم على صلاتهم يحافظون Okay, أولا... مصطفى you're a Mahir club member? Yes يلا بسم Is this your first time? Yes يلا بسم الله Continue Let's finish أولا... this page Okay. أولئك في جنات مكرمون فما للذين كفروا قبلك مهطعين عن اليمين وعن الشمال عزين أيطمع كل امرئ منهم أن يدخل جنة نعيم كلا إِنَّا خَلَقْنَاهُمْ مِمَّا يَعْلَمُونَ فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِرَبِّ الْمَشَارِقِ وَالْمَغَارِبِ إِنَّا لَقَادِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَن نُبَدِّلَ خَيْرًا منهم وما نحن بمسبوقين فذرهم يخوضوا 
وَيَلْعَبُوا حَتَّى يُلَاقُوا يَوْمَهُمُ الَّذِي يُعَدُونَ يَوْمَ يَخْرُجُونَ مِنَ الْأَجْدَاثِ سِرَاعًا كَأَنَّهُمْ إِلَى نُصُبٍ يُفِيدُونَ Connected. 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 سِرَاعًا كَأَنَّهُمْ يوم يخرجون من الأجداث سراعا كأنهم إلى نصب يفضون What's the last word? What's the last word? يفضون You Continue Yeah Just repeat the last word يوفضون خاشعة أبصارهم ترهقهم ذلة ذلك اليوم الذي كانوا يوعدون ما شاء الله بارك الله فيك يا مصطفى your reading is good ما شاء الله بارك الله فيك يلا عبد الله عبد الله حمدان السلام عليكم عليكم السلام ورحمة الله يلا what are you reading I am twenty five Paras Haf Hafiz. I am from India. Mashallah, Mashallah, you're welcome. You, you, you're not a Sorry. Mahir Club member, are you? No, not. I'm not. No. Yalla, Bismillah. What do you like to read? <clears throat> you're running. I want to read. Yes. Yeah? I was Since running. You were running. Yes. Yalla, bismillah. Yalla, read something. You have five minutes. Yalla. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ جَعَلْ هَذَا الْبَلَدِ هَذَا الْبَلَدَ آمِنًا وَجْنُبْنِي وَبَنِي وَبَنِي أَنْ وَجْنُبْنِي وَجْنُبْنِي وَبَنِي Because it's وَبَنِي yeah, شد, right? So you say وَجْنُبْنِي وَبَنِي Not وَبَنِي If you say وَبَنِي you change the meaning وَجْنُبْنِي وَبَنِي the, in that uh, never is there exactly there is never if you don't make never here you change the meaning yes but I cannot say never properly don't, I don't say difficulty. I cannot don't don't say I cannot say wabani 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 وبني أن نعبد الأصنام رب إنهن أضلل كثيرا من الناس فمن تبعني فإنه مني ومن عصاني فإنك غفور رحيم ربنا إني أسكنت من ذريتي من ذريتي بواد غير ذي زرع عند بيتك المحرم عند بيتك عند بيتك عندك عند بيتك المحرم ربنا ليقيم الصلاة ليقيم الصلاة فاجعل أفئدة من الناس تهوي إليهم إليهم أرزقهم من الثمرات لعلهم يشكرون ربنا إنك تعلم ما نخفي وما نعلن وما يخفى على الله من شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء الحمد لله الذي وهب لي على الكبر إسماعيل وإسحاق إن ربي لسميع الدعاء 
رب اجعل لي مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل الدعاء ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب بارك الله فيك جزاك الله خير يا عبد الله ما شاء الله your reading is good ما شاء الله just uh, pay attention to the full حركات عي عي and عو يقو or قامو مو just pay attention to the full حركات uh, may Allah سبحانه وتعالى help you complete the Quran and perfect your reading إن شاء الله جزاك الله خيرا and may Allah protect our brothers and sisters in India آمين أو بالعنى and everywhere السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته if I want to uh, study from see I don't speak English good so I want to improve my recitation so inshallah I... watch Al Jazariya watch Al Jazariya made easy watch Al Jazariya made easy uh, from where? new course and try to copy try to copy and try to learn English also it will help you inshallah Shalom. Barakallah fi kibin yu dua. Assalamu alaikum.